Hi, George here. And today we're in Minecraft Bedrock. This is 121. And I'll be showing you how to do paintings like I have right back there, custom paintings. Easy to do. Just takes a few tricks to do this and a custom resource pack. Okay, the first thing we need to do is to get a vanilla resource pack for this. So let's jump out of here and go over onto the internet and download a vanilla resource pack. You can get the vanilla resource pack right here on this page. I'll put this link in the description so you can get here. But it's on GitHub, Mojang, Bedrock dash samples and releases. Now you don't want any of these preview things. So scroll down until you find the one that says latest right there. That's when you want it says latest right now. This is 121.80, and it's 0.3 and come down here and download the source code zip right there. Click on that. It opens up a download window and then save this into some location that you can easily find. I just made a new folder on my hard drive. I named it bedrock packs. I'll put it right here. Choose save. And that's not taken care of. Let's go take a look at that folder. And there's the downloaded zip right here. And next to this, I have my custom pack icon.png file. I'll show you where you can find the original if you want to use that one. It's just that grass block thing. But it's easy to make a custom one. This is just a 128 by 128 PNG image. That's all that is. Okay, for this, let's right click on this. It's a zip file. I want to open this in a new window. There we are. Go inside where it says bedrock samples. Come down, go inside a resource pack and come down here and go inside of textures. Here's a folder with the paintings in it. Now we need to make that textures folder up here. So let's go over here. This is our working folder. Click on new and folder. Just name it textures. Let's go inside of that. Back over to the zip file. Then let's drag this painting folder over here. That copies it over. And here's all the paintings that are inside of this. Now notice we have this kind of strange thing here with these strange purple colors in here. This is the original set of paintings. They're all inside this one image here. And then all the new ones have their own images outside here. So if you want to replace the old images, they're all inside here. And the new images are over inside of here. And also, if you see right across here, these are those four special images that you can only pull up with special code. They won't come up normally. These are those environment images. The original image here is 256 by 256, pretty good size. The biggest one here is unpacked. This is 64 by 64. So this is a reduced size image. This isn't the same size as these. I think the square right down here, that's the same size as that image when you actually blow this up to full size. So we're gonna be replacing one of these older ones here and also one of the newer ones. We'll do all of that in our new custom resource pack right inside here. Now to finish off our pack, we need to have two more things. One is your pack icon right here. Let's go back to the zip file. Go back where it says resource packs. If you want the grass block one, that's right here. It says pack underscore PNG. That's the grass block image. You can use that or you can make your own. We also need this manifest.json file. Just drag that over here. There we go. Now, if you're not seeing where it says .json and you're not seeing that .zip, go up here to view, come down to show, and then right down here, make sure that Fondum extensions is checked. You'll then see that. This is Windows 11. If you're in Windows 10, go up to the top up here, click on the view tab, and over here, right-hand side, put a check next to Fondum extensions. Same thing. Okay, so we have that done. We have our basics in here. We now need a couple of new pictures to replace pictures in here. And for that, I'll use some AI. Now you can get your pictures anywhere you want. So any place for your images is fine. I happen to like using Leonardo AI. I'll go ahead and go inside my account right here. There we go. I'm using a free account. With a free account, you get 150 credits right here. These are your fast tokens. And this resets every day, 150. So you can do quite a bit there with just a free account. One of the reasons why I like this. I'll use this at the fast mode. We're just using small images. Image dimension down here, one, one. This is the standard square image. And I'll go ahead and go for a small one. We need small images anyway, so I'll just do the small. And number of images, you can do up to four images at a time. The default in here is four if you have a free account. Anything else, one, two, three, or more, it'll be a paid account. Also, these will be shown, whatever you create in here will be shown publicly on free accounts. If you don't want that, you'll have to get a paid account. It's not that expensive. You can also get private mode right here. Let's just take a fast look at that. $10 a month, you can get a lot of stuff in here. 25,000 tokens, 8,500 fast tokens a month. So you can do pretty much anything you want in here, but it's still $10 a month. So we're using the free one. Okay, let's go up here. We're going to choose an image right there. We're doing an image creation. Upper left-hand corner, we have model and preset. Lots of options. I'm going to use the concept art for this one. 
close that window down. And then right here, you put in your prompt. And we'll do something easy. I'll just do an astronaut on Mars with a silver robot as a friend. And let's see what we get. Let's just see our first one. We can then go back in and modify the prompt and make it better. But I may like the first one. We'll see. These go pretty fast. As you can see in here, there are lots of ways of customizing this to get lots of different looks. And back when I was selling things over on Etsy a couple of years ago, this is what I was using. Okay, we don't have any silver robots in here, but very cool looking regular astronauts. I like that. That's a nice picture. That's a nice picture. I think I'll go for this one here. This is good enough for our project. No need to upscale this because we're working with small images. I'll go ahead and click the download. And I'll put it right in here in our tax. Choose save. That's one image. Let's go over here. We'll use this one for a second image. And we'll download this. Same location. Choose save. And there we go. Okay, we have our two images now. Now, another way to get free images if you don't want to be playing around with the AI stuff. Another good source over here is a site called Pixabay. Pixabay.com. This is a free image site. They have photos, illustrations, vector images, videos, music, sound effects, lots of stuff in here. Just do a search. Let's click on illustrations. I'll do a search here for silver robot and see what we get. Okay, there's some silver robots. It's kind of interesting right here. I like that one. That's a good robot. I wonder if I could take this thing, go over into Photoshop, clip him out and put him with the astronauts that we just made with AI. I think that would be a good match. In any case, lots of great stuff here as well. So if you don't want to be playing around with AI, just go over here to Pixabay. You'll find some great stuff to use. Okay, let's go back over to our working folder. And it's back up here to Bedrock Packs. Here's our two images right here. Now we'll just do the square ones on both of these. They're easiest. Right now these are 888, so they're way too big to bring these sizes down. And I have a web app for that. It's right here called imageresizer.com. I'll bring up our working folder, which is right here. And we'll take the first image. Just drag that onto where it says select image. There we go. It's going to go through and upload this image. And there it is. Now right here, we can change the size of the image. Now the default size for the square image, the large square image inside of Minecraft is 64 by 64. But I want to make this a larger image with better detail. So we're going to be going four times that. And that's 256 by 256. So I'll just type that in, 256. I have lock aspect ratio down here. So this is going to be adding that in over there. You see right here, we have the 888 going over to 256 by 256. That's good. This will give us our high definition image. Now come down here, it says save image as. We want to save this one as a PNG file. It's all set to go. Click on export. It's going to export this out. Once it's processed, we'll get a download link. Let's right, go ahead, we'll download that. And back into the same location, it's a PNG file. I'm going to change the name here. Just call this one astronaut one. There we go. Okay, first one's done. Let's go back to image resizer. Do the same thing again for the second image. So I'll grab that image, drag it in here. Let that upload. Let's change our width here to 256. Come down to save image as PNG. All looks good. Choose export. And that's going to process that. And then give us a download link. Okay, click on download. Same thing back into here. Let's just click on this and we'll copy that name over here. We'll call this one Astronaut 2 and choose Save. Okay, for our first image, all we have to do is replace one inside of that paintings folder. Let's go in there. Painting right here. Let's replace this one. I'm just going to click in here once and then copy that name. Right click and copy. Let's go back out here to the root level. Click into this name. Right click and paste. And then we'll just move that into that folder. So drag it up here. Go inside here. Drag it in there and replace. Double check. There we go. That's now been replaced. And the second image here goes into the kz.png image. Let's take a look at that one. That's this thing right over here. We've got a good spot for that right down there where that skull is. We'll put it on top of this. We'll have to do this inside of a photo editing app. We also need to make this one a lot bigger as well. Right now, this is 256 by 256. This really needs to be up at four times that size, which is 1024 by 1024. Our astronaut picture will then fit in there. So to do that, let's go over to a program called Photopea. Again, it's an online free program. I'll bring that up and it's right here. And you can just drag and drop a file here. So here's our folder. Let's just take this, drag it right there and drop it on. There we go. Now I need to make this one larger. It's the first thing you have to do. So let's go up here to image, come down to image size. Here we go. And want this at 1024. That's four times the 256. 
And we also want to have this resampled to nearest neighbor. Very important that you do this. That will keep everything sharp. If you do any of these other ones in here, it's going to kind of blur these out. You want to keep those sharp. So you want nearest neighbor. Choose OK. And there we go. It's now sharper. Let's just zoom out on this one. Just a touch. There it is. Let's now bring our second picture in and put that right in here. Go up to File. Come down to Open and Place. And here's our second picture. Open that one up. See how it fits correctly now? Just put that right on top. It will snap into place. There it is. That looks perfect. Go ahead and save this. File Save. Let's double check that. And here it is right there. So that looks good. Now, Photopea is a free site, but it has advertising on the right-hand side. Right now, nothing is showing over here. If you want to have it advertising free, it's only $5 a month. That's real cheap. So, like I said, it's like Photoshop, real powerful, easy to use. And if you know Photoshop at all, it runs very similar. Now, when we save this, you may have to allow this program to access the folder that you're saving it into. I've already done that, but it's real easy. You just tell which folder you want to go into. We can then go ahead and save this out. Okay, now that that is done, we can close this down, bring our folder back up again. Let's double check. There we go. There is the astronaut. And we're now ready to build the resource pack. Now, a few things to do in here still. We need to edit the manifest.json file right here. I like editing these things in Notepad++. It's a free download. Double click on that. And you see where it says UUID. There's two of these, one up here and one down here. We need to have new codes in those two places. They're kind of like license plates on a car. Every car has to have different license plates. Every pack has to have different codes. Now we can get those for free online. You bring up that website. And it's right here, the UUID generator. Just click on copy and then go back over to the manifest file is right here. I'm just going to put this one right there. Select that. Make sure you don't lose those two quotation marks. Right click and paste. So that's good. Let's go back over here to the generator. Click on refresh. Gives you a new code. Click copy. Back over to the manifest. And let's select the bottom code right here. Right click and paste. Okay, so we have our new codes in here. You also want to give this a new description. And it's here three places. It's up here. And it's right here where it says name. And then right down here again. Let's just select this. I'll call this one new pictures 1.21. And we'll select that one. Right click and copy. Come down here to resource pack. Right click and paste. And the same thing right down here. Right click and paste. This just shows up inside your list of resource packs so you know which one is which. Okay, that's all done. Save that. Close this down. And we can now build our resource pack. So grab that textures folder. Hold the control key down. Click on your pack icon PNG file and that manifest JSON. We need those three things. Right click and let's compress to zip file. Now it has to be zip. You can't go to .rar or .7z. It has to be zip for this to work. Here's our zip file. Let's click into this. Change the name. I'll call it new pictures 1.21. And we also need to change the zip. We have to just rename this thing. Click into it once. Click a second time. We can now type over that zip. Make it say MC pack. And then yes. This will now launch Minecraft and import the pack all in one shot. Now to make this work really smooth, make sure that Minecraft is closed. You can maybe do it with Minecraft open, but I found it's more reliable if you close Minecraft first, just to be on the safe side. Let's double click on this. It's going to launch Minecraft. There we are. Once this is done, okay, it's import started up here. Let's wait for this to finish the import. There we go. Successfully imported new pictures 121. That's all taken care of. Now, if you get some kind of error code up there, it will probably be that you had the wrong folders or you didn't change the UUID codes inside of the manifest file. Okay, go to settings and scroll down. Come down here where it says global resources. Click on that. Go up here to my packs. This should be at the top of your list right there in new pictures 121. Click on that and then click activate. You should see it say activated up here. You can double check up here on active. There it is. That's good. Here's one that I showed in my demo. I'm just going to deactivate that one. Okay, let's go back here again. It's going to load that resource pack. Let's now play this and test it. Put it in my main world right there. Okay, let's now test this out and see how this works. I'm going to grab a painting right here. Now, you need a big space for those big paintings, which I've got right here. 
And you also need to place the right paintings in the right position for them to show. If I go up here, upper left-hand corner, or like right here, right-click on that, we get this size painting. So you want to do is have enough space you can come down here, three down diagonal, right there. That's where you want to be. Right-click here, and this gives you the big square paintings. Now this goes through randomly, so we may have to try this a few times until we get the ones that we want. Right-click. Okay, there's our first one. That's looking great. That's the one that we had as just its own large painting. It wasn't in that KZ file. It was just its own painting. So that's looking perfect. Let's see if we can get that next one in here. Just keep on trying. Left-click to get rid of it. Right-click to bring it back up again. Again, this is random, so it may take me a few clicks here to get it. There it is. Here's our second painting. And this is the one that's inside of that KZ file. Okay, let's just get up here. We can see that better. There you go, looking really nice. High resolution custom painting right here inside of Minecraft Bedrock. And if you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Also make sure you subscribe. I'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers and you can help me a lot by subscribing. And I'll see you next time.